Hey, hey, everybody, it's Scott Omato. So this is the day they finally put down the hammer in Twitch and uh, took out the mods tab. So now if you go to your mods tab in the Twitch app, you'll see that we're pleased to announce a new home for Curse Forge. Visit Overwolf. So they send you to the Overwolf site uh, where you can download the new Curse Forge launcher for Windows or for Mac. OK, so they haven't added Linux at all, uh, but at least you could download it. The bad news is it's not fully functional as of this video so overwolf have kind of drug their tail on that one a little bit but i'm happy to see the twitch app go as soon as i get my mod packs moved over i'm deleting it from my system not that i have anything against twitch but i never used the app to browse their streaming services i used it as a launcher and it was a very very poor launcher all right so i'm going to show you how to find your folders the settings and stuff for minecraft and all that's gone now so you can't go to the settings to locate your Twitch folder. Uh, so hopefully you know where it is, but I'll, I'll mention some. All right, so the Twitch folder most likely on your system is on the root of your C drive on Windows under your users, username, um, and then a Twitch folder. All right, now it varies according to when you've installed it. Um, but that's most likely where it is. Another alternative is it can be in your documents folder in a folder called Twitch. Okay. Or it can be in a documents folder in a folder called curse. Again, it varies according to when you installed the app, they kept moving it around. All right. Mac is basically the same way. Uh, it's in, uh, your user folder or in your documents folder under folders of those names. All right. So we want to move our mod packs. So we want to open the Minecraft folder in the Twitch directory and we want to select instances. Now I've already moved some of these over and I'll be deleting them, but you just want to copy that full folder uh, that you have. Then the curse forge folder is located in documents curse forge. All right. That's where they have it now documents curse forge. And so if you open that and go into its instances, then you can just paste that mod pack in there now you could cut it out and in windows and paste it you know remove it from there and put it in here that, that kind of thing however you want to do it but as i said i'm um deleting all that twitch stuff uh after this it's not of any use to me anymore so the mod packs do work uh if you go into curse forge you'll see your custom mod packs now you can't import mod packs you can browse mod packs online. I'm just speaking of its current features. All right, as of this video, uh, you can sort of create a custom profile, but it may not pull the right versions of the mods according to the version of the game you selected. In my first test, that's what what I've seen. So it's not quite ready yet, but you can play mod packs. These are all the ones it has the same structure and all that kind of stuff. So. You're not gonna lose what you've already done. It's just right now we can't create new stuff. Now there are alternative launchers. I have some videos on my channel for GD launcher and MultiMC is the preferred launcher, but you can't really build mod packs in it. And then there's AT launcher, or uh, you can build mod packs. And so I have some videos on, on those, but this guy's looking really good as far as being sleek and clean and small. Um, and I'll do some updated videos. I don't wanna go into a full tutorial because it's not finished yet so anyway that's how you move your my packs guys so you can immediately get started playing without any downtime and overwolf is uh you know hopefully going to get this thing resolved pretty quickly if you go to curse forge uh just like the mods page or whatever it's this site's uh, going to be in readme for a while it looks like it's not right now it was earlier so maybe they finished whatever they were doing there that's fine that's progress uh, and this browser should be updated fairly frequently right now. So anyway, that's going to be it. This is Scott Omato, and this is our new reality to play Minecraft. And I have high hopes for Overwolf and wish them the best and will help them in any way I can to make this a much better experience than it was with the Twitch platform. So take care. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>